and for so please. I didn't, I didn't hear the last talk of that. If you could talk a little bit afterwards about one of the world's best bass players, John Entwistle, please. Well, Eddie Vedder, what can I say? I first met Eddie Vedder in uh, 1994 when I invited him to come and sing at my 50th birthday party at uh, Carnegie Hall. And uh, he, you know, agreed to do it. And, he was, and I just recognized then that this, this man is an extraordinary talent. And not just that, he's an extraordinary person in himself. He is so, such a solid, down-to-earth guy, he's had. Um, since then, uh, he's, he's performed with The Who a few times. Um, he's always been there for me if I've ever needed him to do a charity job here or there. Um, I hope I can do the same with him someday. Um, uh, that's about all about Eddie. John Edwards, what can you say about John Edwards? Oh, it is, it, the bass... The bass had never been played that way until John Embersall arrived on the scene. He was the, the bass had always just played doom, 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 doom. Before John Embersall, that was a bass player. After John Embersall, everything changed. He, I mean, the slap bass, all that stuff, he was kind of pioneering. Um, a, a, a mystical player. Um, my generation is so on that when people first heard it, they were just, you know, knocked over them. How can you have a lead bass player? But it worked. And he had the, he had the talent to carry that all the way through. And it was, he, was, he, just, he just got better and better. Sadly, he got deafer and deafer, so he got louder and louder. <laughs> and, it became, and it became very difficult to play with, but he was a, he was a, a true artist, a true musician. Well, I think, as everybody here will attest to, The Who 